Jump. What's up guys, have you been wanting to have 60 FPS on your device permanently? And if you guys do the 60 FPS glitch, I'm gonna teach you how to get permanent 60 FPS or 120 FPS on your Fortnite mobile device. Before we get started, make sure you guys use my code by inside the item shop. Subscribe with the notification bell on. Comment your epic to win my 800 v box skin giveaway. Okay guys, have your PC ready. Also, you guys need your iPhone or iPad for this. You could open any browser, then search for iMazing. Make sure you guys download iMazing. Guys, this only works for your PC and your Mac. I'm gonna be replying things about this in the comment section. So make sure you guys come drop your comments. Once you have downloaded this, what you guys need to do is search for 7-zip, then download 7-zip. So you guys could download the 4 bits or the 32 bits. I'm using a 64 bits PC, so you guys just down. I'm just gonna download the 64 bit version for my PC. Now go to your downloads, install the iMazing and your 7-zip. Now you guys could open your iMazing. Make sure you guys connect your iPad or your iPhone. Now you guys need to go to manage apps. Now you guys could click on devices, click on Fortnite, right click on Fortnite and you guys should be saying backup data, restore app data, click on backup data, Back, make sure you guys click on backup and extract app data, so it's gonna extract the Fortnite data, it's not gonna take much time, but for you it might take more time because I've done this before, so as you guys can see, it's done already. Now you can close it and open your Fortnite backup that is on your desktop. Open it with 7-zip file manager. Then make sure you guys follow my steps. You guys can't get banned doing this. Just make sure you guys plug your device and have a fan beside you to cool down your device because it's gonna be very very hot while playing your Fortnite. So now guys, make sure you search for FPS mode 60, it's gonna be on 30 FPS if you play on a 30 FPS device. You're gonna want to change that to 120 FPS. And also you need to search for frame rate, frame rate limit, and change that to 120 as well. Um, you have to change that to 999 as well. Once you're done with this, make sure you guys save. And you're gonna see another. Just click on OK. Now you could close everything else and open your iMazing. Now you could click on your Manage Apps, Device, right click on your Fortnite, then click on Restore. Choose the file, make sure you choose what you backed up. I suggest you save it to desktop so it's gonna be more easier. You click done, continue, and that should be it. Once it's done with this, guys, you're gonna be having 120 FPS if you guys are on an iPad, and you're gonna be getting 60 FPS if you guys play on an iPhone. Make sure you guys let me know if this worked for you in the comments. 
Remember this is permanent guys, in case you guys don't want this anymore, just change it back to what you saw there before and you guys should be getting 30 FPS back. If you guys don't understand, you could join my discord in the description and you could get to comments and I'm gonna reply your comments as well. As I load up guys, you guys are gonna see I have 60 FPS. When also loading into a game, I'm also gonna be having 60 FPS. This is because this device is trying to get 120, but the strength is not enough. So, if you guys put it on an iPad or a device that does not have 30 FPS, that is higher than my iPhone 7, you should be getting 120 FPS surely. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment it down to receive an 800 V-Bucks skin from me. Thanks for watching my video guys, I'm gonna be seeing you guys later, bye. Face review at 2000 subs.